my name is Ashley Beyer and I'm a senior sales engineer here at Decisions. Today, I wanted to walk you through creating data structures from C CSV files as well as JSONs too. Um, this is gonna be pretty similar steps. We're actually gonna go ahead and start inside a Decision Studio. Um, once we get set inside a Decision Studio, you'll notice that I'm gonna go up to data structures and then we'll actually see an entire sidebar. So we can go ahead and start choosing the CSV or if we have a JSON or XML file instead. Let me go ahead and switch over to my studio here. Coming over into my studio, you'll notice that I'm in version eight. So if you have a different version, you may need to check out a different video here. I'm gonna be working out of eight and inside of eight, we're gonna go ahead and come up to the top for data types and integration. We're then going to go ahead and click on our XML, JSON, and CSV files. Now we're going to go ahead and create types from CSV. Coming in here, we're going to go ahead and give it a name. So I'm going to go ahead and do new accounts today. And then we want to go ahead and make sure that our separator is based on the column here. Then we'll actually need to copy and paste that structure, that information inside of our box here. Um, mine, I've got a few different names, uh, first and last, and then it's going to go into the email addresses here. So to having the separator be the comma, it's just saying, hey, John is one line of data versus Popper is another. I'm going to go ahead and press create. After doing so, you'll notice I've got it in the background here as it's rendering. Once it finishes up rendering here, it automatically brings me in to do a data structure here. Um, we'll be able to find this later in our flows, but right now I'm gonna go ahead and tell it field one is a first name. It is still a string value. Field two is gonna be our last name. And lastly, field three is gonna be email address. As soon as I press save, it will go ahead and be able to render that information. Going into flows, we now have the option to go ahead and serialize or deserialize information from a CSV structure. I'm going to go ahead and create a flow so we can see that happen in real time. Inside of my flow, come over to your toolbox. We're going to come all the way down to user defined types. Inside of user defined types, we'll have CSV structures. Expand that out, and we'll see the one we just created for the new accounts here. Once we dig into that file, you'll see the dear serialize from CSV. We also have the serialize to CSV. So we'll be able to actually not only take information from a file and put it inside decisions, so it's a little bit easier to read inside decisions, but we can also take information from decisions and send it out via an S, uh, CSV file. To get started, I'm gonna do one at a time. We're gonna go ahead and press the start to the first step and then connect it over to the end step. Clicking on the step here, we're gonna go ahead and change our input to standard. And then we're gonna go ahead and upload here from our file. All right, now that I have a file in there, we're going to go ahead and debug this. So coming up to the top, we're going to press debug. Test it on out. And if I check out the inputs and outputs of this step here, you'll see that we've got that CSV file coming through. The outputs is we're actually taking each one of those lines now and coming through to make that first, last names, and then as well as the email address too. Now, if we want to go ahead and run it through the serialization portion, we can go ahead and change these lines. I'm gonna go ahead and delete from the start and stop. Connect the serialized. And then for our inputs here, we're gonna go ahead and pick. Um, actually, I'll go ahead and just have it continue down the flow so we can actually run it from here. And we're gonna actually pick the output of this guy here, which is the deserialize from new accounts. I'm gonna clean up my lines just here a little bit. Make it all nice and straight. We're gonna go ahead and test one last time to see all this information process. 
again, this first step here, inputs and outputs, we've got that information coming through. And then if we go ahead and look at the serialization, we'll see it's gonna take all this information here as the input and then send it out as a CSV file here. If we wanted to, we could add a form so we could actually go ahead and download that CSV file. Um, the same thing's gonna happen if we go through a JSON um, instead, same principles apply to go ahead and fill out that data structure there as well too. Now, the last thing I'll go ahead and kind of just touch on briefly is if we do want to go ahead and do a different style, um, just make sure that we have everything aligned correctly and we have the uh, separators marked for the file itself. Again, if we've got the CSV file, that's probably going to be a comment inside there. Now, if you guys do have any other questions of how to go ahead and do this, make sure you go ahead and reach out to us. You can go ahead and email sales at decisions.com or support even. Um, and if you need anything else, go ahead and ask for Ashley. And remember, automate everything.